It's been three months since the murder of Jamal Khashoggi and his body still hasn't been found. But this video could throw more light on the sequence of events after he was killed. The pictures appear to show members of the Saudi hit team carrying bags thought to contain his remains into the Saudi Consul General's residence. You can't believe these things happen in embassies or Consul General's uh, buildings, but, but of course they are controllable. They, they're, they're controllable in that they are uh, Saudi property, Saudi land. The local police can't really do very much about it. And of course, they wouldn't have imagined for one minute that the, uh, the Turks were actually listening to what was going on inside. The Saudi journalist entered the consulate hoping to pick up documents that would allow him to start a new life with his fiance. He never came out alive. Saudi Arabia blamed his death on rogue agents. But Turkey's president says it was a premeditated murder orchestrated by Riyadh. These pictures only add another layer of complexity to the investigation. Uh, now we have uh, direct evidence showing members of the killing team uh, unloading uh, body bags or black bags uh, of some sort. So uh, it leaves the impression that Jamal Khashoggi's body ended up at the consular's uh, uh, residence. And uh, that's where the investigation should focus now, what happened to it there. A few weeks after Khashoggi's disappearance, a team of Turkish investigators found traces of acid during a search of the Saudi consul's residence. The office of Turkey's attorney general has told Al Jazeera that chemicals were used to dispose of Khashoggi's body. And now a new book is revealing more details of the killing. Diplomatic Atrocity, The Dark Secrets of the Khashoggi Murder was written by three reporters from Turkey's Daily Sabah newspaper. It names two previously unidentified members of the Saudi hit squad as well as their links to the royal family. Also, audio recordings which allegedly prove that the crime was premeditated and information on Khashoggi's reported refusal to text message his son in Riyadh and tell him not to worry if he didn't hear from him for a while. As a fuller picture of the killing emerges, pressure continues to grow on Saudi Arabia. Last week, the king reshuffled his cabinet, hoping to deflect international criticism. The Saudi side uh, would hope that this uh, recent uh, cabinet uh, reshuffle uh, puts an end uh, to this case and, and uh, relieves Saudi Arabia from this uh, pressure by the Turks and, and the international community uh, looking for uh, some answers. The new details are also likely to add to growing calls that Saudi Arabia names and indicts those behind Jamal Khashoggi's killing. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.